Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And today what we're getting into is one that I just think's cool, man. My buddy Tyler, for any of you guys that have followed the channel for a while, you haven't seen him in a bit, but my buddy Tyler has brought over his BMW M2 Competition. Tyler's told me it's a pretty dramatic difference from the standard M2 to the Competition engine, suspension, brakes, and some of the styling cues. So Tyler and I are gonna get in, go for a drive, and we're gonna talk through some of the details on this car. And we'll see if we can talk Tyler into maybe uh, doing a burnout and maybe a donut or two. So hold on, man, because here we go. All right, you guys. Here we go for a cruise in Tyler's M2 competition. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying competition because it just sounds so much cooler than just M2. For any of you guys that have been watching for a while, Tyler hasn't been on in a bit, so yeah. good to have you back. Good to always be here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go with differences. Like, okay. Horsepower on the M2, horsepower on the competition. Right, so for BMW nerds, they'll know that the previous M2 had the N55 engine, which is like a hopped up three series engine. It's a good engine, it sounds good. Uh, 365 horse, and this has the S55, so this is the engine out of the M3, M4, and it's rated at 405 horse. I think it's a little bit underrated, just like the S55 is in the M3. And then, so I, I got to assume like kind of everything about the car is different, right? Like suspensions. So the funny part is they, they you know, they're kind of tight lipped as in they didn't change the part numbers on the suspension, but there's no doubt about it. I drive them back and forth. There is right. a different feel. This is way more composed. It's, uh, I know it has more structural bracing. It has this aluminum front brace at the firewall from the M3, M4. Uh, it has a carbon fiber strut brace. It's definitely smoother, funny enough. It could be alignment, it could be some whatever weight differences and stuff, wheels, whatever it is, all the different things that add up, it's better. You yeah. know, it's, they, it deserves the competition name. They, it's noticeable. I have an 18 model six speed, so as close to this as you can get. Right. And I drive it back to back all the time. It's very, and it's a noticeable It's very difference. distinct. The steering, the suspension, obviously the engine, even the transmission. I'm not sure if they changed the mounts, but there's a lot more vibration that comes through this shifter, which I like. You can feel it. Right. It's just a lot of little things that add up. The brakes are bigger too, which is yeah. cool. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, six piston front. And it's really interesting. If you look at the rotors on these wheels, they like, you could barely put a piece of paper between the wheel and the rotor on this car. Wow. Yeah. There, so there is differences on from the front the end. I yeah. thought so, yeah. Uh, I, you know, that's the one area that I actually would say I prefer the original M2. Oh, I, really? Because it has a separate separate kidney grills and they're a little bit smaller, but due to the the bigger, the more powerful engine, they need more aero for the radiators and stuff like that. Right. So the grill's bigger, it's one piece kind of, if you look at it closely, and the front bumper is slightly different and so forth. So I actually kind of prefer the cleaner, I guess you could say a little less aggressive maybe of the original M2. Got it. But it's not the end of the world, it's minor. And then what well, a lot of people do complain about, we were talking about earlier, the rear exhaust, the exhaust on this, the it hangs kind of low. Yeah. So some people either just go paint it, which is a cheap option. You can paint it black, or some people get you know an aftermarket one. Right. Frankly, I don't sit behind the car and stare at it all that often, so it doesn't really it bother doesn't me bother that, you much. that much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, one of the big debates is, and I've had a bazillion people ask me this. Well, I heard the N55 or the original M2 sounds way better. What do you think of that? Well, I'm like, yes and no. So the induction sound, I have active sound turned off on both of them, which is that bullshit that plays through your speakers, you know? Yeah. Like the fake sound. I right. think it's annoying as hell, because I can tell it's fake. Yeah. So yeah. I have that turned <laughs> off on both my M2s. This has a way better induction sound. I can like hear a mechanical sound. Like you're driving this now, you can hear the You machinery. definitely hear the mechanical. And there's some Absolutely. induction, and it sounds cool actually, for a turbo engine. Yeah. Uh, better than the M my 2015 M3 did. Now, I do agree the N55, the exhaust has a really cool burble, deeper sound to it. Yeah. So I don't disagree with that. So there's a trade-off. 
you know, mechanical intake sound, a better on S55. Exhaust is a little more burbly and deeper on the N55. Yeah. So, you know, take as you may, but I still prefer the competition overall. So. Yeah. They, there's something about it. I, I think it's probably just a size thing uh -huh. and an overall styling that it's reminiscent of the E46 M3 to me. I agree. There's a lot of it that remind, like the M3 for me kind of, you know, I know a lot of guys will get pissed when I say this, but it lost its soul to me. It, it, I it, actually agree with some of that. So it became a big sedan this kind is of, you the know, same, or like a mid-sized sedan. Yeah, this is the same length as the E36 M3, almost identical. Really? Yeah, so it's an awesome size, which I agree. I love this size. E36, E46, they're not too big, too much of a difference in terms of size. Right. I love that size. I it's because it's sentimental and I grew up with it, you know, whatever that may be. But I agree. I had an F80 M3 right when it came out. I ordered one. I was excited about it. Hadn't really driven it, so I didn't really know much about it. Right. And I got in it. I was like, this is big. It's a big car. And it, you know, it doesn't may feel too big on the freeway and stuff, but when you're in, you know, our driving in the canyons in LA, it felt big. And absolutely, it, the weight wasn't bad. It's just the size, and yeah. so I didn't like the size, and I didn't think the S55 in its first year wasn't tuned well. So I wasn't so happy, too happy with that. Yeah. And I just there's a lot the suspension tuning. I had the adaptive suspension. I wasn't too impressed with, but. This to me is the ethos of BMW. Like I kind of lost some faith in BMW for a while, and I was like, eh. And I drove them too. I'm like, oh, I got one of those. That's cool. And yeah. It was good. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but it's good. I liked it. Yeah. And then I got, the, I drove my buddies into a competition, and I'm like, okay, there's still some guys at BMW that know what know what's going on. I love how punchy this thing is. Oh dude. yeah, take it's, up. It's really just. Yeah, noticeable, noticeable difference yeah. from this to the M2. Yeah. I mean, it, it, oh, I see what you mean, how it keeps pulling rather than all the boost coming Just on at the beginning. Exactly, of it. it throttles, for lack of better words, it throttles the boost. Dude, the car moves. Yeah, it's quick. I think I'm getting sold on this thing, dude. <laughs> So you guys, just so you know, any of you that watch the channel, you guys see I drive a ZL1. That's that's my only car. Right. So it's my daily drive. It's my Canyon toy. It's my everything car. And I love it. Yeah, right? it's an amazing Lots of car. Massive power, handles incredibly, the chassis, suspension, brakes. It's, it's, a, it's a really great car. But the downside is I go through tires every 8,000 miles. Yeah. And I've been leaning towards wanting something you know small right this is currently my favorite bmw and frankly one of my favorite bmws in a while i love the hockenheim silver that this is the first time this color's ever been released on a bmw the color's great it's so cool it changes all the time sometimes it's chalky concrete sometimes it's metallic it just depends on the light yeah and it's easy to take care of which is nice and i like <laughs> the interior styling i like the simplicity of it's this. very it's, simple it's and it's driver oriented. Everything is in the right place. I agree. It works. Steering wheel feels great. Yeah. The stitching is every bit BMW. Typically yeah. just beautiful. These you know? seats are good because these are the M3, M4 seats. We didn't mention that. The M2, their non-competition just has, they're good seats. They're comfortable actually, but they're just two series seats. And right. so this is, this is, <laughs> we're sorry. Good. Yeah, it feels good. It gives you a good rush even as a passenger. It does. Yeah. It, it does. It pulls really good. Like I'm, imp I'm so impressed with this little car, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I think I'm sold, dude. I think I need to get one. I really do. Yeah. I just, I'm over the. I, I, I dig my car. I mean, it really is a good car. But I'm, you know, I've had the thing for a year and a half, and I'm kind of over it. I'm over spending a thousand bucks a month in gas. I mean, uh, like, what kind of mileage do you get with this? Uh, I've been averaging like a little shy of twenty. Right, and is I'm. Around town, if I'm mellow, I'm getting like 15. That's if I'm mellow. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're driving it like I normally do, which is on it a lot, I'm I'm 12 to 14 miles to the gallon. No, you know? yeah, this is not, this is, I mean, this is, this will drink you if you're really on it. Like when you go to the canyons, this engine drinks it, but if right. you are driving normal, it's actually not too bad. Fucking scoots, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, you guys, well, that's it for our Cruise and Tyler's M2 competition. Great car, man. I'm, I'm just sold on this thing. You know, BMW for me personally, don't want to piss any of you guys off that are big fans, but they kind of lost it for me for a lot of years. You've still always had great performance, but they've leaned more towards luxury and more towards like almost sedans, you know? I mean, the, the M3 became a big sedan. It was no longer a smaller performance car. The M2, especially this one, the competition, is back to what BMW has always been about for me. This is a real performance-based sports car. Anyways, you guys, as always, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we're up to over here. We really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.